Hey, hello, this is Michael Lodge. So, I've been sitting back and watching this Amorosa thing and the, the unethical practice of, of this person. And I tell you, I'm so glad that they finally said, okay, you're fired, you're gone. You don't turn against somebody that gave you a chance. And that's what Donald Trump did. He, he gave this person a chance on his show, The Apprentice. And then he gave her another chance in the position at the White House, which she had no qualifications for. Which may have been one of the biggest issues that was in the decision process, is that he made his decision on loyalty rather than, uh, rather than on what value can this person add to his administration. And then when they found out that she was doing certain things within the White House <clears throat> that were not quite ethical, they let her go. And then she wrote a book and then she turned it about and now she is trying to show that the president is the worst human being in the world after she has been out there praising him for, for a, over two years. I know, I think even longer when she was on The Apprentice, she kept praising him. So the issue is that the ethics of an individual who will, who will take a situation, write a book, attack the individual who gave her the, the best chances in the world, just for the love of money and for the love of fame. She has been on every single news channel, giving all kinds of interviews, and, and every time she talks, the story gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the, and the issue is that when you are so in love with money, and you need money, and you need that fame, and you need that recognition, you'll almost do anything for it. And that's when it becomes so dirty. So unclean that you don't even want to touch it with a 10-foot pole because it's so putrid. Individuals like this who show unethical behavior have got to be shut down very quickly or else they will do more damage and more damage and, and do greater harm to the individuals around them. Not just to them, but also the people around them. Listen, I have had to deal with unethical situations over the last five years with certain partners and, and other people that were involved within my firm. And I had to get rid of them because it was so toxic. And the toxicness of it all was that they had such a love of money and such a love of wanting to be known as something that they forgot all about the ethics of doing business because they were after that dollar. And that dollar, I tell you, becomes... To, to some people, this almighty thing that they have to go after every single day. And that causes an unethical situation because then laws are being broken or can be broken. Uh, people are beginning to see what's going on in the company and they are worried about their own licenses. So you can't have these kinds of people in your workplace when they have such unethical behavior. You just can't do it. Otherwise, you will destroy your own company if you keep them in there. It's a hard thing to do, especially if you've known these people for quite some time. But you have to do it for the benefit of your company and also for your own ethical behavior. It's the same thing with... Clients, if you feel that the client is becoming too unethical and is really wanting to bend the rules, then you have to sit them down and say, I'm sorry, I can no longer have you, have you as a client, and you're fired. You have to fire clients at some point in time also. When you see that they're not living up to the standards or, being in, or even trying to be in compliance, you have to let them go because they will do damage to you at some point in time. The unethical behavior of employees has to be monitored at all times. I've told you this before in other 
um, podcasts and vlogs that I've done. You have to monitor the ethical behavior. And if money becomes such a power to them, and they're always asking you for more money and more money and more money, and that's all that they care about, they're not caring, caring about the quality of the work or the quality of their profession or the knowledge of their profession, you will end up in a very messy situation. I'm speaking you, speaking to you with experience on this subject. Amorosa is a very dangerous situation because she's willing to say anything for a buck. And that's what she's doing right now. You cannot have individuals like this parading around as if they are so innocent, but in fact, they are doing unethical behavior, uh, things behind your back. So that's my that's my views on Amarosa in this stupid thing. If you have an Amarosa in your company or that is surrounding you as a friend, cut it loose because you're gonna get into more trouble. If you have any questions, send me an email at mlodge at lodge co.com and I will try and answer your questions as much as possible. And if you have an ethical question, if you have an ethical concern that you want to bounce off me, just send it to me and we'll try, try and uh, answer your question. But always focus on the ethics of, of the people around you and, and also what you do in your business. As I said before, if you lose your reputation, you've lost it all. And ethics can ruin your reputation very quickly and destroy everything that you have tried to work for. That's it for the day. I'm out. I'm working on my deck today on my porch. I've got, uh, how many did I do yesterday? I did four columns yesterday to support the roof. I have three more to do this morning. And then we can start putting up the beams and, and everything else in the rafters to support the roof. But we're putting on a tin roof because we want it southern style here in Southern Cal uh, Southern uh, uh, South Carolina. I get, I get confused on which coast I'm on. Sometimes on I'm in Burbank, uh, California, and sometimes I'm here in South Carolina. But right now I'm trying to finish up this job. So let me get to it. I'll talk with you soon. This is Michael Lodge. Have a great day.